everyone, this is Josh from Josh the Geeky Workbench, and today I want to do a quick video about how to take apart the microphone from a realistic stereo electric microphone number 331065. So these microphones here are used in the Gaga meter from Ghostbusters 2, and I uh, couldn't find any good information on how to disassemble this and take the microphone apart so I could add LEDs in. And I thought if you could do a quick video so that other people in similar situations and want to do this uh, have some information out there. So let's get into it. All right, so here we are. This is the microphone. It is a realistic stereo electric microphone number 33-1065. And I've already done this once just because uh, I wanted to see what it was like. I got a little excited. So the cap's off. Uh, let's see if you can get this to focus here. There we go. Inside here is the microphone. And this cap is the biggest problem. So I wasn't sure how to take this apart. So I want to show everyone so that we don't have the same. No one has the same issue that I had. So first thing first, we got to take the back apart. So let's flip it over here. Tip, pull your battery compartment down. And there's two screws. And you lift up the little kickstand here. I'll set those aside. So you have one, two, three screws here. So let's take them apart. One. Two, and three. That's gonna stay in there. That's fine. So let's see inside. Let's see if we move this up. We have two screws held together with this little metal V. Now I already take, took the wires out of these things, but the wire just came down through here and connected to these points. Uh, I just cut them because we're not going to use anything else in this circuit board. Um, so I cut them just for easy removal. So we're going to take these two screws out and that's going to release the microphones from the body. All right, so I'll lift the microphones up. There are tiny little washers here. Look at how small that guy is. Where's the other one? There's the other one. Okay, so let's keep those aside because I think I want to use them from a Gaga meter project later. So now we're all done with this. So we're going to put this aside. Flip it over, get our screws out, the V part out. I set all this hardware aside because I don't know, I might use it again later when I do the Gagameter projects. But now this is what we want to do. So this is the microphone, the back side, the top side, it's got a spot for the wire to run through and a hole that goes all the way down, well hard to see. So this is the one I already took apart. So what I had done originally is I found this little hole and I said, well, let me try prying up. And I beat up this side just a little bit. It's hard to focus there. Wasn't super happy with that. So you need something long and thin. I have a pick here and I just slide it right in through the bottom side. And I found the best thing to do is put pressure from underneath and pushes it up, up and out. So this is the microphone cartridge. It had felt around it, had a wire coming through the bottom. I removed all that. And what actually happens is the 
top piece and right over here this is glued on here and there's just a little bit of glue around the inside of the rim so that this doesn't fall off this is just pressed in there so if you put pressure from underneath and push up and out with a little bit of force you should be able to remove this microphone without damaging this at all so again I've already done this but this still has some glue on it so you just put your pick or really thin screwdriver up and push through and it pops out so again I had taken the wire off of this but it's got the felt on it this is still glued on so all you have to do is just push it out and now if I want I can cut this bottom piece off I can cut the top off sorry the top where that metal plate sits on and I can glue all that back in there's a little bit of a ridge there on the inside so if I want I can have the disc sit all the way down and glue it like that or if you don't like that you can cut this top section off and have it sit in and just kind of fill that gap. A couple different options, a couple different things to do, but that's how you take these apart. It's not terribly hard, um, but if I didn't, I didn't know the first time, you know, so I could have really damaged this. The best thing to do, take a, a small tool, a small pick, and just put a little pressure underneath and pop it up. And that's it. Nice microphone. It's already chrome. It's going to look great on the Gaga meter when I start assembling this. So my next step is to wire up all my LEDs and solder them together. And I'm going to just insert them right when I solder them all together and insert them from the top down. So I don't have to drill anything. I don't have to mess with anything. I'll have all my LEDs inside the microphone. Well, thanks for stopping by for Josh the Geeky Workbench. I hope this helps somebody out. I know uh, it would have helped me out a great deal. Um, and I can't wait to show you guys more things in the future. Thanks for stopping by.